Hi. So the next topic we are going to learn in the series of function model RFC is to create a function model with the screen programming to store some payment towards information. So generally in the model programming we make use of screens. We design the screen to create, update, delete the data which we pass to the screen. So in the same way instead of model programming we will learn how to create a screen inside the function model. So in real time there are some scenarios like if you work in any enhancement project like Metal Master Enhancement. So there SAP gives us a provision to create our own function model function group and create a sub screen in that. Second like suppose if you work in the BTE that is business transaction event which is mostly used for the finance transaction enhancement. So there it is a function model enhancement. We don't have any screen option, screen enhancement there. So once you know this concept, so what we can do as the BTE provide a function model enhancement option and in case of our requirement is to give some screen pop-up in the finance transaction code where there is no screen enhancement. So what we can do, we can create a function model and in the function model we can create a screen. So in any program or any user exists, when we are calling this function model, the screen pop-up can come and we can perform our required task. So to learn that concept, so I am designing this model, like consider this as a real estate project where the customer is paying the amount and all the finance documents are posted with a common document type, generally DZ. But the customer, the client want to capture the payment towards means the amount which is paid by customer it is towards flat or stamp duty or maintenance or other charges. Okay, so any one radio button we have to select for this payment. The key field will be like mandate, BUKRS, Belnar and GJHR fiscal year. So first we will create a database table and then we will create a function model. So let's log into SAP system and first create all is 12 field in the table. So here first I will create database table for that go to transition code SC11 here table, table name ZFI underscore payments we can give any name here and here for description payment towards information Delivery class select as A. Maintenance, okay, let's allowed. Display maintenance allowed. Save. I will save in a package Z BAP. Let's say ZK FM with the screen. I can give any name here. And in the fields, I will add all those fields. And this key PUKRS, Belnar, NGJHR, I will mark as a key field. And this I will name as stamp duty, other charges, created by, created on. Okay, now give the data element name. Here is mandate, PUKRS, Belnar underscore D, GJHR. DMBTR and all this I want as flag. Anyone will be X at a time. Created by SI name created on SI datum or let's say ER date record created on and time is used EIT. Press enter. So here we can see the respective data element description. Click on save, go to technical setting, delivery class, transaction data, the size I want here, let's say 1, save and check, go back, save, 
check if any error yeah one error will be there for the dmbtr field is called currency field so here i will add 2001 and wars okay now save check any error no error activate it fine so first step is done i have created database table zfi underscore payments okay now go back to sc37 this is our first function model which we created and we use the function group as zk abap so now for the second one i will use the same function group this time zfi payment you can give any name payment towards payment tagging function group zk abap short text name fi payments tagging we can give any name save now here this time also it is a regular function model now the importing parameter i'm going to select as ip underscore bukrs of type bukrs second field i'm going to use as ip underscore belnar type belnar underscore d this is a data element and third field is ip underscore gjhr type gjhr okay i will select amount also ip underscore dmbtr type let's say dmbtr so four fields are input okay let me keep uh, keep the table open in the separate session so bukr is belnar gchr primary key and this amount will pass to the input of the function model and we have to assign the towards flag okay so what we'll do first go to the source code here first the validation if ip underscore view caress is not initial and ip underscore belnar is not initial and ip underscore gjhr is not initial and last one also if all is not initial then only we'll perform the remaining task okay and if now what i will do first now i want a global structure first okay okay let me first pass the exporting parameter here let's say it is a character field i'm taking here ep underscore ep underscore let's say let's say type okay i'm just taking a character field i will explain why i'm taking this my main task is to save the data in the database table okay save check and activate fine now i want one structure hmm, of this type i want one structure of this table type so that is structure i will define in the global level in this function group let me check if i can go from here yes okay so here as i explained initially two top includes are there so in the second one now if you can see see this is the first function model and this is the second one which i am creating now now here i want to do the data declaration so i will go into tab uh, top include and here i will add data gs underscore payment of type zf underscore payment save check and activate okay so just js underscore payment i declare here i am coming back to my function model now here what we'll do for if any record is available with this combination for select that so select single all from 
ZFI underscore payments into GS underscore payment where BUKRS this BUKRS equal to IP underscore BUKRS Belnar equal to IP underscore Belnar and GJHR equal to IP underscore GJHR okay so first I am selecting the existing record from the database table so now our table is ready and simple structure of our dysfunction model is ready so next we have to create the screen so how to create a screen here call screen 100 say starting at 10 to okay so this means that this will come up on as a pop-up here check and activate and to create a screen double click here <coughs> payment information okay whole data switch off assistant templates hold the scroll position select all seven activate now in the flow logic open this what error it is giving line number one let me check the error first I think it is giving error in the top include no error here then why it is giving error in the screen <coughs> go to source code again template dimpro cannot be generated okay oh sorry sorry this is i have to want to select template that's why it is giving the error okay now go to the flow logic see this time no error by mistake i selected a template okay now what we'll do first go to layout we'll create the pair with status later first go to layout and here i will select one box this is my box and now I will select from program Z GS underscore payment get from program. You can see all the field here. So I will select BUKRS, BLNR, GJHR, DMBTR, flat, STM duty, maintenance, other charges. Okay. I will select I will set all the fields here first and let me add text for each element. Okay, first is BUKRS, that is T BUKRS, nothing but company code. Second field I want here document number, TTOC, that is the document number. okay let me set the first here as label and third field is the GJHR that is fiscal year here TGJHR fiscal year okay this is the amount TMT amount Amount is never negative in finance document. It is managed to debit credit indicator, but it's still to avoid any kind of dump. Let's say with sign. Okay. And now here our main task. Okay. I will start from here. Let's say T flat. Okay. And what I will do, I will just give one drag and drop okay first is flat second is stamp duty second 
second is towards stamp duty third one is maintenance and then other charges okay this is demand that is maintenance towards maintenance and now the last one i want to mark here as the other charges t other so i will mark this as the other charges okay save check now i want to convert this to radio button select all because we want any one option to be selected right click radio button okay first okay sorry first we have to convert individual to radio button convert as radio button okay first convert individual field as a radio button then we'll define as a group group means user can select only one single radio button from that group so to define group select 1 2 3 four right click again and then define okay now second recommend we want all this first four field as a display only so go to this program and remove this input user cannot change the input value user should select only the radio button that is the main recommend of this session of this development Okay, now our screen is ready. Save, check, activate. Okay, now create a PF status. So in the same top include, I will create a PF status. Let's say PF one, and title is as T one. pf status screen 100 and here i will select let's say save back exit exit and cancel and for this all we'll select as exit option when we cancel Okay, seven. Activate the PF status. Go back. Create title. Yes. Payment towards seven. Activate. Now what we'll do? Like module exits on. at exit command so if user click on any of the exit button which we have defined so what system will do it will simply like set is screen zero it will go one step back okay so exit is done and now the user command here what i want to do case sai you com when say back or exit or cancel so what we want to do set screen zero okay and when it is save when the command is save we we'll simply modify the table modify zfi_payments from 
GS underscore payment and again we will set screen 0 ok and we, in between we have to perform something let me do that end case clear sci ucom ok so here what we will do we will set the default value now gs underscore payment created by equal to sci u name then gs underscore payment created on equal to sci datum last is gs underscore payment time equal to sci uz eit fine i am simply modifying the database table ok now all is activated go back activate this again go back now here what i have to do i have defined one exporting parameter right ep underscore type so what i will do here is not required but just ok so better what we can do instead of using this now here also i will define exporting parameter instead of this i will change this to ep underscore payment type i will give same type here ok let's take the same type in the output ok so same type same detail i will get in the output in the source code what we have to do like sorry one more time for naming convention is very important yes that is exporting structure ok so i have removed that type instead of type i am passing the same structure in the output so this time what we will do see the exporting structure es underscore payment equal to gs underscore payment save check and activate ok what we have done first i have defined this structure in the top include and then we have defined this i created this screen and on the layout we have added all this detail and based on the detail entered on the screen which radio button is selected and just passing the same structure in the output fine so now what we will do first we will select one record from the bs id or bs edit table any table is fine and generally the document type which is used for the payment is dz ok so B, uh, blart is a document type for the finance transaction so let me check if any dz document is there so we will pass the actual data ok so here we have some record so here I have view carrier this is Belnar this is GJHR and this is the amount field where is DMBTR yeah here is the DMBTR ok so I am copying this 6310 so now let's test the function model independent AC37 execute here my company code is 6310 Belnar is this document type now next is final fiscal year 2023 and amount same amount I want to pass here it is 1007 ok so I will save this as a variant here it is some issue with the character setting test why it is not accepting the amount here ok fine now if I execute this 
let me solve this issue first okay some setting issue in my system so i pass 1007 now if i execute see okay so here data is not coming so i forget to assign those value here so let me first solve that let me first solve that go back in the 37 see i forget to assign the value to the structure that's why i am not able to see here if it is not if record is not found so we have to assign the data if size sub rc is not equal to 0 okay if there is no existing record with those those detail so what we will do gs underscore payment view krs equal to ip underscore view krs gs underscore payment belnar equals to ip underscore belnar and gs underscore gj gs underscore payment gjhr equals to ip underscore gjhr a last is a payment that is the dmbtr equals to ip underscore dmbtr because those value we want to print on the screen if size of rc equal to not equal to zero if record font system is anyway going to display that okay save now no error first we are selecting existing record if it is found in okay if not assign those detail here now if i execute this let me select the variant see you can see this is non-editable okay and from here we can select any one value still some alignment to be done some issue with the screen painter of the system so i'm not able to set properly but otherwise all will come properly let me try after this okay first let's save oh sorry again <coughs> so this till now here the screen is working fine so we have to add the save button there go back to the layout till now the screen is appearing properly we don't have any issue with that we said this this should come properly in the same line i don't know why in this system it is not coming properly label as left all i have set properly label as left okay seven activate finally it is activated okay now add one button here push button as save it is save and here i'll give the function called as save and we can assign some icon here if you want to assign the icon save layout save entries okay normal save button i'm using here and one one more button i will use as a cancel okay t cancel Two function code one is to save and second is to cancel save and activate okay so it is activated again go back execute select the variant execute this time selecting stm duty save see the output 
So in the in the output we can see the selected radio button. Okay. So in the table, check the record whether the new record is created or not. See here we can see the one record created and the standard is mark as X. Okay. So let me do one more entry here. This time for this document type. Go back to the function module. And this time I'm adding for another one. I'm selecting the flight as a radio button and save. Check the output. You can see 5000 and mark as X. Okay, come out of this and check the record again. So you can see two record now. Okay, so we are successfully able to test the function model through SC37 and we have created two record. The next we'll learn how to call the same through a web program that we'll see in the next session.